getting ready to start a new window haven't done a window in a long time this is a 32 inch diameter you could call it a medicine wheel you could call it a crop circle design because it has that type of influence in it anyway this is how I do my glass get ready to start this and we'll do the progression of it but this is a uh, medicine wheel, a crop circle, a de mandala, you could call it any number of things. I do my own dichroic lamination, make my own dichroic bevels. So, let's see what we got here. This is uh, one of the bevels. This is RBA. They're absolutely stunning. You can't find a bevel like this anywhere in America, unless you know somebody like me who's laminating their own bevels. I do this myself. It's ultraviolet lamination. And there are a few people, I'm sure, in America that do this. I wouldn't even know how you'd look them up. <laughs> it's very rare. Let's put it that way. I've been told uh, there's a couple. There's only a handful in America doing this. Who's ever doing it? Cool. I'm glad you are. <laughs> um, the, this is an RBA. This is a CBS glass. And it's Rainbow A. And which is a cyan uh, dark red you can kind of tell hopefully you can see that through the camera and I'll show you a color picture of what this panel is going to look like when it's done let me black this out here for a second and this is what I'm going to produce that's what that pattern is going to look like and you can see the RBA bevels in the center and the, in the center uh, six inch bevel I don't know what this is here I'm trying to figure that out it's obviously in the uh, across the street in the design because that's not in the bevel but you can see uh, other bevels and then I turn these all into dichroic this is dichroic. I think in this one I might do it dichroic. These are little dichroic jewels. You can see them. So obviously those are dichroic. Those are dichroic. Dichroic. I think in this one I'll do a slight variation. Oh, you can see the dichroic sticking out pretty good on those. Right here. I think on this one I'll put more dichroic jewels in there or some sort of application. He also, check that out right there. What does that remind you of? Doesn't that look really Egyptian, this piece right here? Kind of the, I forget what you call that. This piece right here, this circle, and sticking up and above. It's got an Egyptian kind of a feel to it, that piece. I think I'm going to do that as a, as a uh, sun catcher some type. I might even leave this on it right here. In this whole lower part and maybe create a line here in a light here so that it could be self-supporting if I just make this and this lower part it's really weak it's going to accordion collapse right here on that line and that line so it needs some sort of support to come down and over on that side so sometimes you can look at a window and you can see other elements within a window and that's what I'm saying here this triangle would be really strong by itself without the circle around it too and then you see the, the next triangle that's kind of hidden right here from that point to that point to that point some people call it sacred geometry it could be a crop circle it could be a lot of different elements I love geometry in stained glass um, it's pretty much all I'm doing nowadays abstracts and geometry got tired of doing the ducks on the ponds they never left the pond tired of the hummingbirds although I love hummingbirds they just didn't move nothing's moving to me these designs move if I sit and dream long enough stare at it and the reflections change it's almost like it's vibrating right before your eyes and the intensity is incredible so when I get this panel done of course I'm gonna video it yeah, too hanging in my front window of my shop in North Carolina so want to just show you a window I got coming up. As soon as I get the dichroic back, I'm going to start a uh, overdue project of a dichroic peacock front door that'll blow minds, I guarantee you. And it'll be on YouTube as well. So, anyway, 
Hope you're looking forward to the next videos. I sure am. And I'm going to start this new job. It's a 32 inch um, crop circle design. We'll see how you like it when we're done. Bye-bye.